He's been the subject of a long-running investigation on this program and now the dodgy building work of the Prime Minister's nephew has caught up with him. A magistrate today brought it to an end, threatening Mitchell Cole with jail time. An invitation to the lodge this year? Why are you running away, Mitch? Mitchell, do you want to see the record straight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Haven't you got anything to say? They say you can choose your friends but not your family. And the PM may well regret this Chrissy happy snap. Mitchell, do you think you'll be getting an invite for Christmas lunch this year? ScoMo's nephew, Mitchell Cole, isn't a fan of our cameras. Mitch, I just want to have a chat to you. Tell us about the photos. In fact, like Forrest Gump, Mitch has Scott never Martin. stopped running. From us, his victims, and even at one point, the law, when it came to his dodgy building jobs. Mitchell Cole. Good of you to turn up to court today, sir. He's taken our dreams and turned them into a nightmare. But after two years, everyone and everything is catching up with Mitchell Cole. Are you name-dropping ScoMo today, Mitchell? He deserves to go to jail, and I hope for everybody's sake that there's a door closed for everybody that he's burnt along the way. You know, James McCall has like been waiting for this day. The relationship with uh, Scott Morrison that he clearly um, has told everybody. I thought he'd get away with it, to be honest with you. The father of three paid Cole $33,000 and says he then spent another $25,000 fixing the damage. He's made as much money out of us as possible and moved on to the next victim. And how was your yard? An absolute disgrace. Even Uncle ScoMo felt bad, writing to James and his young family. Not every day you get a letter from the Prime Minister. Uh, no, no, we don't. <laughs> you said you're remorseful and you're sorry. Do you want to take this opportunity to apologise to Faye Voyartis? Birds get in, insects get in. Our backyard has been in this state um, ever since he started work. Faye Voyartis says she still can't afford to fix Cole's damage. It's terrible to feel like you've been taken for a fool like this just because you're trusting and you wouldn't expect people to do these kinds of things. The magistrate agreed. Mitchell, no jail. You must feel like the luckiest man in the world right now. Mitchell Cole will serve a two-year community corrections order. He was fined $26,000. After today, there'll be no Christmas lunch at Kirribilli. Instead, jail if he slips up again. All those fines, are you going to be able to afford for Secret Santa this year at the PM's place? Mitchell Cole's case went as badly as his building jobs. The third time offender even tried to argue the shame of being outed by us, a current affair, was punishment enough, but the magistrate wouldn't have a bar of it. He's a complete liar. Peter Flanagan says he was also a victim of Cole's work and is still waiting to be compensated. Just absolute bastard. He, he ripped us off. He's an absolute for doing it. Name dropping the PM might work in the building world, but not in the court of law. And let's hope it's Cole's famous uncle who convinces him to pay his victims back. I know you blamed a current affair and you don't like us very much, but why don't we make a deal that we won't have to put a camera in your face if you do the right thing, pay them back and never do this again. On top of the fine and 200 hours of community service, Cole's also been ordered to pay more than $30,000 in compensation.